What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And I've got a really exciting episode installed for you today. We're going to build an entire new line and set up an entire new industry. And I'll show you what I mean now. So, if we go down the coast here, do you remember a few episodes ago, I decommissioned all the fuel trains off this track here, which runs this side of the highway. And I said I was going to do something with this line. And I've decided what I was going to do. Because if we go down to the dock, originally I was going to repurpose it to send stone down to here to be turned into construction materials which cities need, as we can see. So yeah, there's a huge demand just in Los Santos. The problem was that the quarry is here and that would be very difficult to get to for a train. So it was kind of, I was delaying it because it was difficult to do and it was just impractical and it wouldn't look nice. And more than anything, I just love the fact we got a highway in the middle of a load of tracks. I think that looks really cool. So... I put in a new industry. I put in a rock quarry up by here where the humane labs are in the real Grand Theft Auto. And we're just gonna we're gonna connect that up and then we're gonna set up a distribution set Oop, distribution center is what I was trying to say, that distracted me. Make sure yeah, whatever. So that is what we're gonna do today. And by distribution center I don't mean it's just gonna drop it off in a random place on the way back. I mean we're going to set up an actual hub and I think that's going to be really cool. So I suppose there's nothing really left to say other than to get on with it. So cue the time lapse.
Okay guys, so I put in all the uh, lines, I did a bit of smoothing. I've also just started, because I kind of forgot, to uh, put in the truck station. So I've got one here at this station. I need... actually there is one up in Polito, isn't there? Uh, eh, it's only a small one. Although, to be fair, could we fit a big one in? I'm not entirely sure we could. Uh, thing is, if we put it like there, I doubt it would be in cash. In fact, it might be. It may just be. Uh, close that. Is that in catchment? Yes, it is. Perfect. That is peachy. And we've got one in the industrial part. I believe that's the industrial part of town. In Pleto. Uh, yeah, that'll be good enough. And you may have seen I also put in two distribution centers on the main line itself. So there's one big one here. That's going to get bigger. We're going to put more construction materials, food and other stuff like that into this to be distributed. And there's also one on the way up down here in Cypress Flats. Which I spent a fair bit of time putting in. I could have done these truck stops a little bit better, made them line up a bit. But it's good enough for now. And then the line finishes down here in the docks. And that was a nightmare to put in because I had to basically turn the tracks 90 degrees. But we do have 50 million quid to play with. Like seriously, that is a lot of money. So where would be the best place to put in a depot? I'm thinking up here somewhere. Um, I don't think we can do this with one. I mean, I suppose I could, but it wouldn't be the nicest. Let's give it a go. See if we can use one, why not? 53 million now. God, the money is rolling in. Right, if we put that like that and make it level, could we, <coughs> in theory, I doubt it. Um, that's too steep. It wouldn't take advantage of the um, double slip switch if we did that. Oh well, it was a nice thought while it lasted. Delete that. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to put a depot in by here. There's a piece of uh, track coming off like that. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same by here. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, if I bring a piece of track off like this. We should be able to connect these two tracks so we can have one depot for the two tracks. That's the theory. So if we have that like that, and it can run off down here a little bit. And then we should be able to connect this track up to this, I hope. Nope, you're gonna let it. You can do that, that's not really what I wanted though. Um, well, I've tried it the other way and brought a piece of track off down to meet it. That might work. Yep, perfect. That'll do. And then we can just stick a depot on the end. So, what one do we want to use? I'm thinking... Uh, that one kind of fits. Be better off down in the dock area, but meh, it fits. Uh, smooth off around there so it actually looks fairly decent. Oop, wrong way. And you may have noticed that I put catenary on all the tracks. And the reason for that is I was considering, I don't know if we are yet, but I was definitely considering using electric trains. We need to put a depot on here. I think an electric train would be quite cool if we can get one on there. So let's have a look what trains we actually know. We'd be better off doing the main line first and putting the lines in. That just occurred to me. So let me put the lines in and I'll be back in a few minutes. How many are we going to need? One, two, three. Right, okay, guys. We got 77 million and I've set up all the distri distribution lines. God, that's difficult to say. And I've also put in all the signals for the lines. All that's left to do now is buy the vehicles. So I'll just show you where we're delivering to. 
So down in the city, in Cypress Flats, we're delivering to... Let me just get the lines open, it'd be easier, wouldn't it? So we've got one line which delivers down to... That doesn't really help. So we want that one, that one. Basically all the ones without vehicles. Any more? Yeah, there's one. <coughs> Sorry, I got a terribly sore throat today. Uh, that one. Not many more left. In fact, that's it for the RF lines. Right, so we're delivering down... Just move these out of the way. I probably should have set this up beforehand, but, you know. Right, so we've got one line which delivers to there, to this stop down by here, and to a bus stop down there. And we've also got... Oh, we've got another aeroplane, that's what we got. But we're also delivering down here to Los Santos. In fact, that line's not complete. What I needed to do was take it back to there and then to there. So we're delivering to both sides of the city. That's good. And then we've got up in Sandy. Let me just show you that. The train line drops all the materials off here. It's put into this truck stop here. And we've got one line delivering to there in Stab City. And we have another one delivering to... Where does it go? There, this truck stop here. And then finally, up in Polito, the construction materials go from... I've put that in the wrong place. Uh, what is that? That is... I have no idea, that one. So it goes from there to there. And that is pretty much all there is to show you regarding that. So, now we got a choice. What trains should we throw on? we got 82.7, 82.8 million to spend. So, we can have a little bit of fun with this, I think. I also found a little bit of a bug. I don't know if this is going to get fixed or anything. But if you're doing construction near water... It freezes. It's really slow. It takes about five seconds just to put a signal in. And as I was putting them in then, I noticed it because as I got down to the bridge at the bottom of the line, uh, by the docks, this bridge here, it was really slow putting the signals in. But then when I got into Cypress Flats and the rest of the line, it was really fast. And I noticed that before. I don't know what causes it. It just is, basically. Right, what do we want? Uh, this is our only electric train, I think. 70 miles an hour, 500, 4,500 horsepower and 500 kilonewers. I think we're going to use that. So we want something to carry construction materials. We've got some new cars, by the way. These tank cars. Uh, they're part of a mod, I'm pretty sure. Right, gondolas, what do they carry? No. Ah. Oh. Damn, that's just press sock in it. We gotta carry stone one way and construction materials the other. Okay. Um one, two, three, four, five gondolas. And state cars carry construction materials. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to do it like that. Two, three. This is TF Conmat main one go and then on the Polito line by trains Milwaukee class EP2 they're 8 million a piece wow right this only needs to carry construction material so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 as you know just 8 uh, I'm just gonna have one for the time being so on the Polito line there you go and now we need to go to this depot here and once again Milwaukee EP2 with some state cars 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 you are going on Polito Stab uh, Sandy Stab even right that's the trains done for now we've spent 60 million on those trains they better make some plumbing money fast Right, now we need road vehicles, buy road vehicles. I'm just going to buy them all here. They'll make their way to wherever they're going eventually. 
I want max, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You are going on uh, LS Conmat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 9. Yep, 10. Set you all on Cypress Flats Con Con Mat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, I've put all the vehicles on and I was just looking at the lines and nothing's losing us a major amount of money. Uh, Conmat Polito's broken. Uh, okay, get rid of all the stops. And it's going to go from there to there. Oh, no, there. Okay, something's broken. Pause. Glad I noticed that. Why are you not working? Um, There's got to be a gap in the track somewhere. No, that looks fine. Goes into there. Huh. What I'm looking for is a gap in the catenary because they change a little bit if the track is broken. So just something that doesn't look right with the catenary. And at the moment I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I think I've worked out what it is. If I click on the train it says no path electric. That means that the catenary is not complete for the entire route and I think it's this station here. Yep it's this station so get out of the track mode by the way we got the new upgraded faster track uh, so I'm gonna use that from now on but I don't think there's any point in replacing it to be honest so I'll just see high speed track it is a, it does look better but I think just when we build new lines we'll use it and eventually these old ones will get knocked down if they don't then in like maybe 1950 I'll go around and replace them or something Right, catenary, yes. Apply. Now, is this line going to work? Yep, there it goes. That's what it was. There's no catenary in the station. Perfect. So, we can play it again now. We got 21 million and going up. Look at this, by the way. The halo lines, 7 million, 6.8 million. The uh, grapeseed food lines making 5.7 and 4.5 respectively. The LS stab line, 3.8 million, 1.7 on the fuel line, and the ship food line is making 1.8 million, 0.8 million. Losing money, the new lines we put in, kind of what you expect. The Elysian Island dock food line, losing money, but that's because the boats aren't very frequent. What is the frequency on that line? Auto save in June 3rd, why not? So... 146 seconds. No, that's not it. That's the road line. Uh, where's the ship line? Four minutes. They'll spread out eventually. They will spread out. At least I hope they will. Right. That's picked up some uh, stone now from the quarry. So the quarry started building. It's going to take a while for all the lines to start making money and to set in because the stones got to go down the construction materials got to process them the construction plant and then it's got to be brought back up and blah 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 why are you stopped waiting for free path why are you stopped because you're in the wrong blooming place that's why okay you turn around you turn around uh okay uh, okay problem uh damn Really? Okay, you turn round and where's the other train? There, you turn round. Now it should allow it to cross over. Come on. God, this is being laggy with all these windows open. So, you. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to wait for it to flip round. Right, stop. Uh, oh, just hit my microphone. Right, how are we going to fix this? You? What if I told you to go to the depot? Unable to find path to depot. Go to the depot. Uh, this is annoying. Okay, turn around. I'm going to delete that signal. Yes, that made it happen. That worked. And now you flip round. You flip round. You go. And now all I need to do is put a signal in. So signal there. Perfect. Should we have a ride on one of these trains? I reckon we should. We haven't had one in a while. Uh, should we go first person? Let's have a look at the locomotive first. As I said, it's not the best looking locomotive, but it is pretty damn powerful. And it's, it is really annoying how the construction materials and the stone have different cars. Because it just makes the whole line a lot less profitable. But look how fast this is going now. Let's go first person for a bit. Hopefully it doesn't lag forever. It's quite bumpy this line. But then, not really much I can do about it. 71 is speeding. <laughs> a lot of people don't like tenries. I think they add a bit of character to the track. I've got to be fair. It's like when they're all over the place it looks messy but when they're nice and even and equally spaced like this I think it looks so cool sometimes okay granted that normal tracks you can get a better view out the window and stuff but I don't think they're that bad for Kennery very low frame rate coming into the city look at that though you can't tell me that doesn't look cool in fact, I want to go have a look at the cities in a minute to see just how big they really are and whether we're getting the updated um, buildings yet. So, across here, I think it's going to slow down by here probably. Coming up over this bridge, I do like this bridge. And here's where it starts to slow down, coming into the platform. It's got a red signal it has to wait, but look how fast that's going out of there and into the platform. That was a cool ride. This game is so amazing. I love this area. Like, honestly, this is probably my favourite area in the game, this. It just looks so awesome. Right, let's have a look at Los Santos if my game stops freezing. I can't wait for this improvements thing this improvement patch coming out. Hopefully it does something with the frame rates. Yeah, we're starting to get multi-story buildings now. Big, We'll have skyscrapers soon, guarantee it. Right, is that line, the main line, actually making a profit yet? The construction main line? No, still losing us three million. How many construction materials are they carrying? I can't really see. Uh, uh, no, there's no way to see. Oh well. When that kicks in, though, all the rest of the lines will start making a lot of money. 26 million we got. Right, of course. Now the question is, what do we do next? We've done fuel. We've done construction materials. We've done oil. No, we've done food is the other one. There's not much left in the way of injuries. industries. I'm going to have to start setting up other industries. I think that is quite a cool idea, actually. Because we need to put these these uh, distribution centres to good use. Like it's a massive centre, we're only using a few platforms. We need to put that to good use. That looks cool with a tunnel by there and the tracks. That's I like that. Look at Sandy, it's got a lot of big buildings around this area. What area is that? Is that probably shopping I would have thought, commercial? Nope, that's residential. Right. What other build? Should we have a look at what buildings we got? Construction material plant. We got one of them. Steel mill. We don't have one of them. Farm quarry. 
What are you? Iron ore mine. Coal mine. Machine factory, goods factory, food processing plant, oil well, oil refinery, chemical plant, sawmill, forestry, and then the rest is buildings. We do have options. We definitely do have options. Um, I'm going to have to think of something cool because I'm going to have to look at the industries we've got because a lot of them feed off each other. And I'm going to have to find a way to fit that in and find a good location to put it where, where we can make an interesting route. I think there are definitely a lot of epic possibilities though. That's definitely something for the next episode. How long have we been recording? I've been going for two hours. <laughs> to be fair though, I did have a game crash in the middle. Fortunately, my footage managed to get saved, but it was a game crash nonetheless. Why is that a piece of city road? Uh, no. I was going to connect it to the city, but no, that's a bad idea. This is a highway. Ooh, we got the extra large street. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you, extra large country road. I'm amazed I can upgrade that, but I'm not going to. Because I know that it won't let me do it further down, so it'll just be a waste of time. I am going to go and upgrade all of the road to this, though. Providing it will allow me. Yep. I'll be amazed if this doesn't have any uh, glitches or anything where it collides. I'll be amazed. I really will. Ooh. You, you, you. I think we're getting into the city now. You. That actually looks really cool with all the highway like that. I think it looks even better than that. Just It's basically a strip of concrete before that. But no, I reckon this looks cool. With the uh, median and the barriers. That looks really cool. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to call it for this episode. It's only been a short episode, I know. But we've done so well, and there's a lot of stuff I need to do. And I need to have a look around, a lot of setup for the next episode. I've also got to record another video today. So make sure you come back for that. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but whatever it is, I think it's going to be awesome. So make sure you come back for that, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.